The Trump administration's argument in all this when President Trump becomes the first president to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital says they're simply being honest about the fact that that is Israel's capital. There is a 1995 law that requires the United States to move its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, though every president for the past 22 years has signed a waiver to prevent that for the last uh, every six months, essentially. Opponents say this tanks an ever-elusive peace deal between Israelis and Palestinians. Traveling in Europe, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson denied that. The president's very committed to the Middle East peace process. He has a team that he put in place almost immediately upon entering the White House. That team has been working very diligently on new approaches to the peace process. They've been engaged in a quiet way with many in the region around that process. Palestinians also recognize Jerusalem as their capital. Opponents of the president's decision say that this needlessly removes any American impartiality to try to broker a peace deal between Palestinians and Americans. Uh, there were also officials in the State Department who argued against this. Uh, the U.S. Uh, has warned embassies and consular staff around the region to step up their security today, Sandra. All right, and Rich, uh, what's the timing of this? When will the U.S. Embassy officially uh, be open in Jerusalem? Well, it could take several years. A senior administration official says today the president will direct the State Department to begin the process of moving the U.S. Embassy and its thousand or so employees from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and that it will take time to select a site, uh, fund a building, plan the building and then get it all staffed up. There is a U.S. consulate in the city of Jerusalem. However, the U.S. State Department describes that building as one that uh, represents the de facto representative of the U.S. government to the Palestinian Authority.